Hey everybody, I'm going to make this short and sweet and quick. Um, this is just my thoughts and recap on tonight's TNA Impact entitled Midsummer Nightmare for July 14th, 2011. Now, this is the first time I've seen Impact on television without downloading it in quite a few weeks. It's so, like I mentioned in my reasoning of, in my reasoning video, as in my video previous to this, where I talked about the reason behind the Joker Sting gimmick. It's because it's mainly it's been similar to what I've seen 15, 16 years ago in WCW with the NWO. Um, but overall, I have to say this was a decent show. Uh, I like the segments. I like how they opened it up. You know, it welcomed Anderson into Immortals. Sting interrupts and basically says, hey, I got some aces in the hole. Shows this four clowns. And the one thing about the spoilers, they never can tell you exactly who the clowns were. We find out later on that the clowns or four of the five members of Fortune, that being Storm, Kazarian, Daniels, and Styles. And basically throughout the night, they're beating down on all the members of Immortal. Abyss was first, Steiner was second, Jeff Jarrett was third, and you'll see why I mean doing this in a minute, well, I'll explain that. Gunner was fourth, and Ray was fifth. So, um, throughout the night, some decent matches. Uh, we had a decent three-way to open us up with the winner of the match getting 10 points. And that winner was Robert Roode. He beat Samoa Joe and the Pope. Um, next match we had was an X-Division match. Austin Aries versus Shannon Moore. Decent X-Division match. Austin Aries wins. Ends and um, basically looks like they're going to build towards Austin Aries getting an X-Division title shot down the line. And possibly an X Division title reign, and I wouldn't be surprised that by the end of this year, going into the next, he's put into the world title picture. I wouldn't be surprised by that, but Austin Aries gets his first official win as, as a part of the roster tonight over Shannon Moore, and it looks like they're trying to make him into the bad guy or heel that you love to hate but hate to love. Then we had, uh, then we had Tara against Madison Rain. Madison Rain. Tara makes Madison Rain think she's got herself a, got her a nice gift, but it turns out to be the return of Poison, a little tarantula, which enables Tara to beat Madison Rain. One, two, three. And uh, then we have a tag title match, British Invasion against Mexican American for the number one contendership. Mexican American wins thanks to interference and distraction by Rosita. And then in the main event, Sting versus Mr. Anderson. Sting wins, becomes the TNA World Heavyweight Champion for the second time in 2011 and for the fifth time in his career in TNA. So Sting, yeah, is the TNA Champion for the fifth time in his TNA career, but also the second time this year. Uh, he gets, he becomes champion thanks to help from Kurt Angle, who was a surprisingly a fifth clown that I don't think Sting expected because it surprised Sting a little bit at the end, kind of shocked him a little bit. Um, but yeah, Sting is the new TNA World Champion. Overall though, overall though, I have to say the show was pretty decent. Like I said, I like the segment, especially Immortal getting wiped out by the clowns. Those clowns, like I say, being Fortune and Kurt Angle. But what really got me is when I talked about Jeff Jarrett getting wiped out, you know, they beat down Abyss, they beat down Steiner, they beat down Gunner, and they beat down Ray. But all they did with Jeff is they hit the briefcase, and then all they did was drag him away. They didn't beat him up. You know, so that tells me something's up. That tells me we might see a Jeff face turn. I know, a Jared face turn. I know the select daddy doesn't want to hear that, but I've got a feeling we might see a Jared face turn. I've got a feeling Jeff's in on this. I wouldn't be surprised. But uh, overall, it was a, a decent show. Um... And I think what's going to happen in the near future is they're going to try to get Immortal to realize, hey, we can't, we got to come up with something different. Maybe they'll even mention the fact that the reason Sting's been getting to them is they're very similar to the NWO. And maybe they'll realize, hey, we got to do things that are not NWO like. We got to, like Sting, like Sting, think outside the box and do things he wouldn't expect. Heck, even we wouldn't expect. But again, like I said, it goes back to what I mentioned in, mentioned in my previous video where I talked about the reason behind the Joker Sting gimmick. Again, it goes back to trying to get the company back to Dixie Carter. I mean, isn't it ironic I got the Immortal Forever DVD coming out 
out and, they, and it's got a question mark asking forever. So um, don't be surprised if we see Dixie again in the near future. So that's all I'm going to say on the tonight's uh, TNA Impact Midsummer Night Midsummer's Nightmare. And as far as Mr. Anderson goes as a champion, I think they're trying. Maybe they're doing a little storyline there where Anderson's just not meant to be champion. Maybe he's not really meant to be world champion material. Maybe he's just meant to be a sidekick or a secondary champion or a mid carter. Maybe they're doing a storyline like that. And maybe they're also going to, maybe part of that storyline is Anderson just wants to prove to his former employers that he can be a champion. So I don't know. Not, I mean, with Vince Russo, you never know. So, um, that's all I'm going to say. If I, the grade I want to give this tonight is sort of like an A minus, B plus, between there. And that's all I'm going to say about tonight's TNA Impact episode, Midsummer Nightmare, for July 14th, 2011. Leave your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. Do you agree with me or not? And I will talk to you all later.